So I've got time for a quick video here. Let's talk about Dauntless News for old time's sake. On August 1st, Dauntless announced their plans to release a large scale update in the summer of 2024. The Shattered Isles update is promising quite a bit, including a new permanent progression system, combat upgrades, enhanced core gameplay, and more stuff like that. Part of the combat upgrades they're looking into is the ability to equip more than one weapon at a time. If you're able to equip two weapons at one time, this would allow for 21 different weapon combinations if there are only seven weapons still. They're also looking to bring weapons specific identities and improve the interactions between the Slayers and Behemoths. They haven't elaborated too much about the new progression system, but they did say that they are going to look to not invalidate those who have joined the 1000 Reforge Club. Until this big update launches, they plan on doing everything that has been happening for updates, so new gauntlet seasons, seasonal events, weekly heroic Eska trials, rotations, etc, etc. And there's a bunch of other stuff that they say they're going to add and going to fix in the big update, and I'll link the article below if you want to take a read. But what do I think about all this? I think this is great. At this point in the game, quality over quantity is definitely what they'll need to get more people back and engaged with the game. You know, my, myself included, I've been enjoying my vacation playing Pokemon. One thing I would say is that if they're planning on making a whole new progression system again, and they're going to probably make some big changes to the visuals, as they've said, and other really big update stuff like that, it might just make more sense for them to separate the titles at this point and just make Dauntless 2 instead. Seeing as they're already going to be taking a lot longer to update the game, and it seems like it's going to somewhat auto-update itself, why not just take an extra few months, or maybe even a year from what they're thinking, and just make like 10 new behemoths, an entire new quest line, whole new lore, you know, bring us to St. Avalane or something instead of Ramsgate, because something that big of a scale, like Dauntless 2, is definitely going to attract a lot more people than, oh, just another Dauntless update. And also that way, if people want to play Dauntless 1 for nostalgia reasons or something, they can do that. This news of the next big update in 2024 kind of sucks for people who are playing right now, knowing there's not going to be major updates for a while, but at least the devs are showing that they want to do something to breathe some new life back into the game, because it hasn't exactly felt like that for quite a while now, and maybe after this update they try to go for maybe one large update every few months or so. Again, going for that quality over quantity. But yeah, I think overall it's a good decision. Hopefully they have a nice huge update for us next year. In the meantime, I'm probably going to start using this channel again for some other more mature type games, not Pokemon. Like Starfield is coming out real soon, Early Access is in like a week I think. I've been waiting for this game to come out for years and years, so I'll probably do some modding type stuff once that's possible, some lore type stuff as well as maybe some of the other Bethesda games. Also, in the meantime, if you like Pokemon, head over to the Pokemon channel. That's been doing pretty good. If you're not going to watch Pokemon, then don't subscribe there, though. That'll probably just hurt me more than it'll help me, actually. And if you just want to hang out and talk about stuff, you don't necessarily care what game I'm playing, head over to the Twitch. I've been streaming there daily now. Come by and say hi. Or balls. Or your mom. Or something. But yeah, I have been Trevor. I go by Trails. And I'll probably catch you guys in the next couple of weeks here with some Starfield, maybe.